to talk about today is investment. Not investment in terms of money or, or what you have that you've been keeping it for a rainy day, but I'd like to talk about investment in time and how you as a human being start to really start cling to things when you've had a certain investment in time. It starts to become your identity. It starts to become you. And, and there's that kind of, of reification process that occurs when something starts to, to be a part of your daily life or your daily, daily kind of investment in, in a concept or um, belief or, or just in, in a kind of relationship or, or in, you know, you're investing in something. And it's usually emotional investment and time investment and you possibly think that you're going to get something at the end of the day. Now, what I'd like to do is to think about the things that you invest very little in. The things that you tend to say, okay, I'm not investing much time in that, but I'm going to do it. But that's not one of those big things I'm going to spend a lot of time in. And it'd be interesting to make a list of the things that you invest very little in. Like, I mean, I'll tell you one thing I invest very little in. I invest very little time in cooking. And I also invest very little time in thinking about certain topics. And, and I think that it would be good for me to make a list of the things that I'm overlooking or not investing in and just see, okay, why am I not investing time in those things? And then start to say the things I'm investing little in are maybe the things that I actually value the most. It's just that maybe I'm afraid to, to take a chance. Maybe it's too fragile. If I overburden or overload that thing with a lot of time and pressure, it might break. 